Okay. I know this is your first real doctor's appointment, but Jason and I are going to make sure everything goes okay. We're going to make sure that you're not nervous. Are, and you, are you talking about you or the baby? Both, I guess. She's going to be fine. Do you listen to us? We keep calling her she and, and the baby and her. I think that this little princess needs a name. It's not yet. Sam, there's no, there's no hurry to name her. Michael was over a month old before we named him. I know, it just, you know, Jason, it would be nice if there was a name on her birth certificate. That's right. Yeah, you're right. But the hospital's gonna be fine, you know, with baby McCall. Or Morgan. Sure, if you want. I was hoping that you wanted to. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to push you. I, I know that. I know, and but maybe giving the baby your last name would be pushing. Maybe you don't feel that close to her yet. <sighs> Look, I, I told you that I'm, I'm glad that the baby's here. It's just going to take me a little time, that's all. I know, I know. It's a lot to get used to. I, I mean, it is for me, too. But I just want you to tell me if you feel like that I'm pressuring you into something or kind of sucking you into some sort of instant family. Because I think that most guys in your situation would be feeling pretty claustrophobic right now. Yeah, that's, that's not really it. I lost Michael when he was a year old. And I started taking care of him for Carly so she wouldn't lose him, and I thought I was doing her a favor. But Michael changed my life. No one warned me how much I was going to love that kid. They couldn't because you have to live through it to know how it feels. And then one day it was just over. That was it. Michael wasn't mine anymore. And, of course, you're afraid that's going to happen again. Well, I, it's like, you know, taking a bad fall. After it happens, you tense up. You're always watching out for everything. You stay on your guard. But if you really think about it, it doesn't make a lot of sense because you're not in more or less danger than you ever were. But everything just feels different. Well, because you've learned that the worst can really happen. And you've learned that, too. That doesn't mean that it's going to happen again. Okay, um... Most people live their lives in denial, right? You almost have to. If, if you would actually get caught up in everything that could go wrong, or the accidents that could happen, all the ways that you or someone you loved could get hurt, you would be paralyzed, right? You'd probably lock yourself in a room and be unable to move. So, I think that we've got to hope for the best, okay? We've, we've got to just stay in our day-to-day -day and not worry about what, what might go wrong, not, not worry about the, the worst, because most of the time the worst isn't going to happen. Most of the time when we cross the street, we're not, not going to get hit by a bus. A bus? How this... Oh, come on. You know what I mean. Yeah, I do. And you're right. I am afraid. But not for myself. I'm really afraid for you. Sam. Look, I, I want this. I want this to work out. Because I, I believe that if you get the chance, you are going to be an amazing mother. But a lot could go wrong, and I don't want you to lose her. Like I lost my baby. I know you miss her. I miss her. But this baby isn't a substitute. Jason, first of all, let me start nothing. 
and I mean absolutely nothing, can bring back my baby girl. But I am doing what you told me. You know, the best, the best way for me to make her life count is by going on with my own. I am sick of wasting time. I am sick of running away. That is what my father always did. I don't want to be that. You don't, you don't talk about him much. Cody, he was, he was a mess, you know? My father was always looking for the next score. He never actually stopped to see what was right in front of him. And I grew up and I did the same thing, you know? I was always after something better. Until now. And you are enough. What I have here is more. More than enough. I'm happy for you. Then be happy for us. You and me. And baby, no name, over there. So this is Dr. O'Donnell, and he's going to take really good care of you. We'll have an exam room ready in a minute. In the meantime, how's your daughter? Well, she eats a lot, and she likes to listen to music. Okay. She sleeps about four hours between feedings. Yeah, midnight and, and 4 a.m. is kind of rough, but we don't mind. <laughs> I see you haven't named her. Well, we've been talking about it. What, what about Hope? Thanks again for coming with me. I really need to explain right now what's going on with Diego. You were so good for Dr. O'Donnell, and thanks to Jason, you have a name on your birth certificate. Yes, you, you do. Like it. No, I love it. I love it. Hope is a perfect, perfect name. 